There may not be an American alive who hasn't eaten something boiled, broiled, browned, barbecued or fried by OSI Group. The privately held food manufacturer, with estimated 2022 revenue of $7.9 billion, started out by stamping fresh hamburger patties for McDonald's on a 1955 handshake deal with the Golden Arches Ray Kroc. Over the years, OSI and its chief, Sheldon Lavin, expanded the relationship with McDonald's to include just about McEverything. From there, it took on the world. Today, OC's 65 plants in 18 countries can cook whatever meat a food company wants to sell. Though OSI has churned out DiGiorno frozen pizzas for Nestlé, steak, carnitas, barbacoa, sofritas, beans and salsas for Chipotle, Oscar Mayer wieners for Kraft Heinz, plant-based burgers for Impossible Foods, and truckloads of flatbreads, paninis, mac and cheese, soups, chili or just the meat that goes into the chili, McDonald's has remained a loyal customer. In the process, OSI's Shelley Lavin became a billionaire. In May, Lavin died at age 90, and his son, Stephen Lavin, took over as company chair. Though the younger Lavin is a lawyer by profession, he's watched as his father grew OSI from a mom-and-pop shop called Otto & Sons into one of the world's biggest food processors. Forbes estimates that with the death of Sheldon Lavin, Stephen Lavin and his family are now worth more than $3.9 billion. The transition of power at Aurora, Illinois-based OSI comes at a time when the winds of change are blowing with fury. The company's advantages are many. Its sprawling scale gives it a pricing edge when it comes to attracting new business, and its impressively long client list and decades-long reputation for discretion. It uses a host of other companies' secret recipes and guards them all closely, point to a continuation of current partnerships. But climate change threatens to upend the meat industry, with extreme weather expected to damage feed crops and dry up water for livestock. Food brands that supply grocery stores are cutting back on spending with a possible U.S. recession looming. Outside capital for expansion has gotten more expensive and tougher to secure. Commodity prices are rising and so are labor costs. Stephen Lavin told Forbes that his top priorities at OSI are growing the company, helping management find the right solutions for its customers and addressing food security. I do not think in terms of barriers, he told Forbes via email. Where there is a challenge, there is an opportunity to turn that challenge into a benefit. Lavin, who controls the family's trusts, has been a company director for years and was groomed by his father to be ready for this moment. At his side is David McDonald, now CEO after working at OSI for 36 years, most recently as Chief Operating Officer. The two have a lot of room to grow, especially as the company invests in automation to improve efficiency and unlock fresh capacity in its factories.